so I've been seeing a lot of um, survivors coming out uh, from the 97% and I think it's a good time to post like at least if not my own story because uh, I'm not ready to really share that yet um, I would like to use what little platform I have to show my support in that arena because it's hard to be vulnerable like that and be upheld to a lot of scrutiny and um, I just want to say that you are valid and you are loved uh, whether by people in your life or strangers on the internet um, I know I can't really uh, add, I can't add a ton because I barely have enough energy to keep myself afloat at the moment. I do plan to because I don't I don't really like being passive when I have the ability to say something or do something to help fix a problem, etc. But I right now I'm in a state in my life where I'm finally taking care of myself. It's a long journey, but it's I'm getting there. And um, this is what I can do right now until I'm in a more mentally, emotionally, and financially stable place to uh, continue contributing to the um, the uh, fuck it basically just empowering I guess I don't know what I'm looking for. empowerment to everybody who's been traumatized and hurt and uh, something that needs to be said often is black lives matter Asian lives matter women matter every single person on this planet has value and while some of those people make bad choices the best thing we can do for them is to hold them accountable and help them recognize that what they're doing is hurting other people and themselves so that overall as a planet we can just we can improve and be a better tomorrow than we were yesterday in conclusion, you matter. That's uh, it's the simplest way I can put it, but it's, I don't know, I just feel like that isn't enough. But that's all I can say, there's nothing really more to it than that. I don't know. It just feels like... I can never do enough, but I'm doing what I can, and that's all we can ask of each other. So drink some water, wash your hands, stay safe. Goodbye. <laughs>